Yeah. Rockford's number one, Hey Music Station 97, COK. Steve Shannon Show with producer MJ. Teresa Caputo, the Long Island Medium, coming to the Coronado in Rockford on Sunday, October 3rd. It's a 3 p.m. show, a matinee. Everybody can go. <laughs> and you got the chance to talk to her. I did. So cool having Teresa on the phone. How are you, Teresa? I'm great. I'm, I'm really great. I'm back to work, healing people all over the country. So things are fantastic. Does the world feel like it needs it more than ever, sort of? Uh, yeah, I, I, absolutely. You, you know, MJ, I mean, listen, I say now, you know, even over these past year, almost two years with this COVID, even if we personally didn't lose someone, we all felt that we lost someone over these past 19 months, right? Yes. And um, that's the thing about, you know, spirit, what I do, it's so much more than just communicating with people that have died. It restores our faith in ourselves and life and, and, and hopefully each other. And I feel like people have had a lot of time this past year and a half or two years to kind of see beyond themselves and realize that, you know, it's possible to reconnect in ways that maybe we never thought possible before. Oh, a thousand percent. And that's the thing I've always, with my guests, this is not about people believing in mediums, believing in me. I want people to believe in themselves. I want them to know that they still have that ability to connect with their loved ones, that all those little things that go on around them that they think that are weird or they're like, oh, my God, that reminds me of my dad. You know, I smell his cologne. Or when I see butterflies, it reminds me of my grandmother. To know that that is your loved one saying, I am with you at this moment. They're little hellos from heaven. I've always believed that those signs would come. And after losing uh, many important people in my life, the signs are more real than ever. Um, but I love what you said about people who maybe before didn't believe in it or, you know, kind of are non-believers. But it's about believing in yourself. It's not about believing in, you know, what you do. It's about believing that you have the ability to expand farther than your just physical self. There are common things that, that spirit might have me talk about, common burdens and guilt that we carry. But the thing that is amazing, and, and even when you come to the experience, you're witnessing other people's messages. And we tend to, the things that we experience, we think everyone experiences the same thing, right? And it just isn't so. And you sit back and you listen to these stories and you, you can watch and see the healing up close and personal and live. And it's like, how in the world would she know that? How, you know, it's, it's not... The things that Spirit has me talk about, they're so personal to that person that there's no way I could find out or know about. It's seeing is believing 1,000%. And, I mean, I feel like angels and people who have passed are just dying to, like, communicate with us and let us know that they're there. So I feel like people are just seeing the angels being like, knock, knock, we've been trying to get a hold of you. <laughs> Right, right. You know, because the other thing is, what people don't realize, that our loved ones live our life through our eyes. Yeah. So they're experiencing things. And, you know, the thing that I love, too, is how spirit is encouraging us to embrace life with happiness and joy, even though they died. They don't want us to stop living because they died. Listen, yeah. we're going to grieve the loss of our loved ones for the rest of our lives here. But they want us to heal, and that's something completely different. And I think a lot of people, depending on whatever the situation is, on how their loved one left the physical world, they feel that if we let go of sometimes negative emotions or things that had happened over the years, that we're not mourning them or we're not respecting them or we're not loving and remembering them the way that we should. And as long as we are healing... They don't want us to hold on to all that negativity. Teresa Caputo, the Long Island Medium, coming to the Coronado Sunday, October 3rd. Tickets now available. You can get more information on the 97ZOK app. More of MJ's conversation with Teresa next on 97ZOK. Oh. Rockford's number one hit music station, 97ZOK. Steve Shannon show with producer MJ and on the phone with the Long Island medium, Teresa Caputo, who will be at the Coronado on October 3rd. I am so excited for you to make your way to Rockford. You're coming October 3rd to the Coronado. The Coronado is a place with a lot of history. Do you find that like when you do shows... In places with a lot of history, there's more energy than not. I always say to people, it's Halloween every day in my world. So. <laughs> 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 I love that. 
<laughs> but, but that's the great thing. These old theaters, there's so much history. There's so much. Uh, it's just, it's amazing. And the feeling, it's always like I'm well. I always feel like I'm welcome from the souls of the departed with open arms. And it's just so beautiful. What would you say to somebody who's maybe kind of looking for signs and they feel like they're not getting any? Because I've been in that spot where you kind of feel like I'm asking mm-hmm. for signs, I'm reaching out, but I don't feel anything. Like, what's some advice to just kind of let them find you? Well, that's the thing, MJ. You can't, I tell people this all the time. I'm like, you can't say, Mom, I know it's you if I see four red cardinals, ten butterflies, <laughs> two double rainbows by Saturday. <laughs> It's not how it works. That's what we do, right? Yeah. That's what we do, but it doesn't work like that. It works, and it's the same thing with messages. They are so effective because they come when we're least expecting it. Yeah. That's the amazing thing about signs because for a soul to really, for us to communicate, our mind usually has to be at rest or like a little, like, um, doing, like, mindless things. Like, I always say, I get such good information when I'm vacuuming or when I'm in the shower or blow-drying my hair because I'm not really focusing on anything, right? Yeah. And that's why young children, young children and animals, they're very connected to the souls of the departed because they just say whatever it is that they're sensing and feeling and reacting to the energy in the room instead of saying, oh, my God, I thought I just saw a shadow go by. Or, oh, yeah, I just thought I saw my, my dad sitting in, in his chair for a split second, knowing that that's real. Yeah. I feel like people during the pandemic had a lot of time to kind of rest and sit with their thoughts. And I've seen a lot of people online and just kind of everywhere realizing that when they do sit and rest, they can kind of connect. Um, do you feel like there's been like more of a collective energy of people realizing that? Absolutely. I feel like that was one of the silver linings through this pandemic was that we discovered really to kind of be still and to really kind of do some soul searching and to open ourselves up to spirituality yes, and, or, or just energies around us. But, you know, it's hard. It's not easy. And, and I say this to people, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. It's hard to really stay in the moment, right, MJ, and live in the moment and be present. Oh, yeah. There are times that I find myself during the day, like I do quick, 30 second little meditations or like I stop and breathe and just kind of reground myself. When, once I start to feel myself getting like a little anxious or like, Oh my God, I got to do this. I got to do this. Like, okay, we need to stop. We need to be in the moment. We need to breathe. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's it is. It, it, it's hard. Yeah. I feel like that's the thing is spirituality seems so great from the outside, but once you're in it, you know that it's just complete duality and you can't have all of that good without a whole lot of mess. Anything uncomfortable to me, that is always change. That yeah. is a sign of change and growth. So it's, so it's okay to be a little uncomfortable. Go through it. Embrace it and see what happens. Thank you for taking some time to talk with us, Teresa. We're so excited to have you at the Coronado, October 3rd, and we can't wait to see you here in Rockford. Thank you so much, MJ. Have a great day. 97 ZOK apps, how to get connected with some tickets.